Okay, it's blue time. Kind of a bit of an experiment as well. Uh, this, as you all will recognize, is the uh, front, I want to say, nozzle, which the bayonet fixed to. And it says my R0119 is the number, and that's correct. This is the butt. Um, but, 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 but. And that's made of aluminum, and that's made of steel. I'm going to try blowing the aluminum and see what, or aluminium, and see what happens. This is the kit. You have this blue wonder gun blue. First, you attack it with this gun cleaner. Sorry, I'm not going to adjust you. First, you attack it with this gun cleaner and go, yeah, 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 yeah. Then you attack it with blue wonder. Yeah, 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 yeah. Then you touch up with the developer. And then obviously when you finish putting your gun together, you uh, lubricate it. Okay, I won't be lubricating these because they don't need lubricating. Well, actually that little hinge might need lubricating. We will see. Uh, I have no clue how this is gonna work. I know how this will work. I've done it on other parts and it should be perfectly okay. I have never done it on aluminium. Um, I did think of polishing it, and then I thought, well, let's give it a go at bluing and see what happens. So, okay. This is after my bluing session. I think it looks... Oh, ho, 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 ho. Oh, do you see what I see? Yeah, we're getting close. We're not there yet. Finish bluing this. I think that looks pretty good. Gonna fit that. The um, aluminium, what do you call it? Stop butt? I don't know. I'm gonna polish that. This is the main stock of the rifle cleaned polished looking pretty fucking good it's not there yet don't get you know don't don't get squirty in your panties it's not finished yet you will see it finished by the end of this video that i promised the stock will be on it will have the uh strap on it nothing like a strap on Hey girls, and uh, this, you know, that will be on there. It'll all be fitted up. So I'm not showing that to you now. This still is a little light, but I'm going to live with it. And so are you because it's my gun. And there you go. That's life. Look at that. Oh, and I oiled this baby up and. I don't know if I can do this one-handed. Let me see if I can show you. Hang on. Uh. No, I can't. I've got to change. Hang on. Okay. Um, I'm sorry about that. It's. Um, I have just lubricated this using. I must admit, I use this uh, XFR lubricant and I've lubricated the bolt and the trigger mechanism. Now watch this. Listen to this noise. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Now, I know there's no shells in it. I don't need to double check. Curlic. Isn't that a beautiful sound? I'm sorry, I know I, sh I shouldn't do this with an empty gun, but that is fucking beautiful. All right, next you will see the gun fully assembled, including the highly polished stock butt, stock butt. I've got one of those, I've got a stock butt. Um, I'm going to polish this up, I'm going to make it shiny with the scars, shiny with the scars, and lacquer it so that it's 
got some form of preservation and the uh, stock the main stock is currently out the back in my area because I have just finished lacquering it uh, it may need a few more coats of lacquer and some filler so I would say you're gonna to have to wait but you're not because it's it's a video and I gotta wait you haven't there you go.